welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then thank you so much for joining us. In this video, as requested, we will be doing all of the Halloween events. I'm starting off first with the parade. You have to go to Ravens and in the road to the right, usually where the um, buy ingredients area is, it'll say join parade and you just click that and it'll hop you in there. You have to do this for 10 minutes to get the reward, but every so often you will get these prize boxes, most of which are just basic supplies, but every now and again, you get these little pumpkin coins that you can use in a special shop and get much better rewards. This is just some gold that one of my clan mates sent us. This is one of the prizes that you get periodically during the parade. This is the prize box that you get at the end of the 10 minutes. And those pumpkin tokens that popped up on the left are um, some of the ones that I was talking about that you can get as a prize during the parade itself. They look like this in your inventory. And if you click use, this will be the shop that it will take you to so that you can use those to buy cool stuff. I'm going to focus on getting the costume things and cinnamon because you can use the cinnamon and pumpkin to make a special recipe that you get later on and it has a good damage boost and I really like it. For Halloween Carnival, you just go in and hit the free draw on the bottom right and you get a prize. I got these Halloween tokens and you can use them in the store if you click the bottom right number. Mine says 80. I'm gonna save them and see if I could get a key or something. I might even use it on silver later. If you go back under the Halloween tab and select Magic Candy Bar, you get a free prize there every day. It'll have a prize box next to it if you're able to get another prize or not. I got some more pumpkin tokens, so I'm gonna go in and get the costume for Ghost. Next, I'm gonna go do Gourmet Delivery. You go to Noah's Park for that at the Halloween Gourmet Messenger. The little diamond icon should lead you to him. You talk to him and pick an NPC that you wanna give pumpkin pie to and it'll send you to that person. Last time I picked Catherine, so this time I picked Tang. The first time I did it with Catherine, it sent me to my base to make pie before I talked to her again and then got these prizes. You get the pumpkin pie recipe the first time you do it, but you don't get it again after that. It'll immediately put you into the pumpkins assemble quest instead of having to go to the menu and select it. You'll get pumpkin seeds and cinnamon, and normally you have to go back to your base the first time to make the pumpkin pie like I was talking about, but I already had that. Still, I'm gonna head on over to my base and show you what it wants you to do. Now, initially, it gives you pumpkin seeds and it tells you to plant them, and it wants you to wait around until they're ready to harvest but I didn't do that. I already had pumpkins because I collect them as I'm running around on the map. But if you don't have any and you don't wanna run around looking for them, you can go to Ravens in the back on the map right there that I showed you. And there's this little pumpkin area and you can steal three pumpkins from the farmer there. Just run away when he chases you because he has too much life and it's just, unnecessary because if you wait a few seconds he'll run back and then you can run back and just keep getting the pumpkins until you run out of chances. This little thing is so cute. I remember one year when I was little my mom did that to me and my brothers because she didn't feel like going and getting costumes. <laughs> Oh man, it was so funny. Okay, so now we're done with this and we've got our pumpkins for our recipe. Normally, I like to get the pumpkins from over here, but there's a pumpkin on top of the crates right now 
and it won't let you gather them. It's weird. I like blocked it. But whatever, we got them, so it's fine. So now we're back at our homestead grill. You put on two pumpkin and two cinnamon, and that's how you make the pie. If you go look at it in your recipe book, you'll see that when you tap it, you get damage plus 43. That's not too bad for an event food. I like to save the stuff or actually turn it into a dish so the items don't expire when the event is over. All right, so that's the Halloween events. I hope this was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. And if you'd like to support my channel, you can go down below to buy me a coffee and buy me a taco there. It'll be really helpful. My phone broke, so I'm using Jen's right now. That's why I haven't posted in a while. I can only do it when she comes home from work. It's super cool of her to help me out like this, but it's hella frustrating <laughs> because she likes to use her phone when she gets home from work. But if you can't, that's okay too. I appreciate you guys so much and just coming to spend time with me in these videos. I'll try to post again soon, but I don't know when that'll be. I have some time videos to be released um, soon. So uh, I'll see you in those, I guess. <laughs> but as far as any new ones, um, yeah, well, I'll just have to see. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!